what's up guys it's you and welcome back to not welcome back but welcome to a pokemon showdown replay um this should be an ou live but since i already got rex i didn't really want to mess up my coil rating you know how that goes um so this is actually a uu match i had against my friend uh, braylon lover forever aka brandon he's a pretty cool guy really good battler and uh, he just messaged me on showdown one day and was like um Hey Geo, I have this idea. What if we each bring two BL Mons to UU? And I was like, you know, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. So uh, that's what we decided to go ahead and do. Um, so anyway, looking at looking at the teams and such, uh, we both brought a Mega Altaria team because I guess we were both kind of feeling Mega Altaria. And it's kind of funny. We followed the same kind of basic team building structure. We followed Mega Altaria, Normal Type Wall Breaker. He has Star Raptor. I have Diggersby. Um, fairy, or not, uh, not fairy, uh, psychic steel type, he has Jirachi, I have bronze on, uh, poison type, he has roserade, I have, um, tentacruel, um, then fire type, he has infernape, I have entei, and then just filler, which was a physical wall for both of us, but anyway, looking at his team, uh, breaking it down more in depth, I guess, he has a DD Mega Altaria, he has a Jirachi, infernape, uh, star raptor, Hip out on and Roserade. Well, you guys can see my team. I believe I'm specially defensive Bronzong, physically defensive Chestnut. Or I may be physically defensive Bronzong. And yeah, that's what it is. I'm physically defensive Bronzong, Bronzong physically defensive Chestnut, and specially defensive Tentacruel. So anyway, I thought this was a pretty cool match. Um, if you guys want to see more of these type of replays, just let me know. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and lead Diggersby as he leads Roserade. And uh, I'm Choice Scarf. I'm just going to go for the frustration. I do a nice 92%. I'm jolly. Um, as he misses his sleep powder, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, which, just a bad start to the battle. But he goes out into his hippo here. That's going to do about 45-ish percent on a roll. Meaning that I cannot to a KO him. Which, you know, it's fine. Because um, I just get to go out into my Bronzong as uh, he slacks off the damage. And right here, we're just going to trade rocks. We both kind of brought hazard stack teams. The only difference is that I have a spinner and he doesn't. So uh, I'm, I'm going to miss a Toxic here as uh, he just goes for the Whirlwind. So kind of makes up for me uh, dodging the Sleep Powder earlier. But, you know, uh, right here, uh, he Whirlwinds me out of Tentacruel. I'm just going to double back out in a Bronzong because I do not want to take an Earthquake. And uh, I, I believe I just fire off a Toxic right, right here, or I'd go for the uh, Gyro Ball, whichever one. Uh, I end up going for the Toxic, and I actually have EQ on this Jirachi, or not on this Jirachi, on this Bronzong, um, which ends up helping me a lot because uh, I can wear down this Jirachi right here. Uh, I do 45%, and I believe right here you just see him again. Now he goes for the Hidden Power Fire, uh, revealing that, so. Um, and I'm actually going to pause it because at this point in the battle, um, CM Rachi is probably his biggest check to Mega Altaria, especially if I'm mono attacking. And uh, Bronzong is my only check to his Mega Altaria. So um, I knew that he was going to try to hit something else on the Switch because he had been playing aggressively in some of the matches we had played before. Um, so I just decided to stay in here, take this Psychic, eat it up, that did 14%, and uh, I'm just going to be able to knock him out with another EQ. So Bronzong coming through. Um, Right here, he is going to go straight out into his Infernape to pressure me a little more. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to go out into my Altaria, which turns out is actually just regular Mega Altaria and not the other one. Not regular Altaria, but he just misses a Heat Wave, which is unfortunate. Uh, he goes for the U-turn right here. There's a nice 11% as he reveals he is Life Orb Infernape. And uh, I can just roost off the damage, no problem. Um, so now looking at the rest of his team, Bronzong actually does a lot of work in walling his team. Um, but I would also like to get some hazards up. So I'm going to go out into my chestnut because um, the more hazards I can get up, I can limit the switch in opportunities of hip out on, uh, make it a lot easier on my boy uh, Diggers be late game. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a spike up right here as uh, he decides to go straight away for the dragon dance. And I actually am packing roar on this chestnut because I needed phasing. Uh, so, bye bye Altaria. That actually works out for me. His Rosary just goes down to Spikes damage. And, um, so, you, you know, right here I'm in kind of a good position as he goes out into Altaria, uh, which is fine. I'm just going to go and choose to get up another Spike. Um, I was kind of predicting him to Dragon Dance again or to uh, make a double, but he just makes the good straightforward play and goes for the Roost right here, which is fine as I end up just roaring him out, meaning I just rack up more damage as I roar him out into Star Raptor. 
Uh, right here we see Intimidate, and but no leftovers, so he may actually be Defog Raptor, um, but it's not likely and it's not common either. But I'm just going to go into my Diggers B right here because I am Scarf, and uh, with all this hazard pressure, it's going to be really hard for his Hepaladon to take me on. Um, and Hepaldon can't s switch in and take damage, it has to be given a free switch. So he just sacks his Infernape right there, which is fine by me. Um, brings out Hepaldon, I'm just going to click Frustration, get a nice 40% off, as he ends up going for the Slack off, and I can just continue to click Frustration right here, uh, because if he does anything but Slack off, he runs the risk of being too KO'd. He whirlwinds me out right there, which is A-OK, -okay, as I am now out at now out rather with my mega altaria and i believe right here i just go straight into bronze on because i know he can't do anything to me um he goes for the whirlwind again makes a good play um but eventually brings me out into my tentacruel i'm just gonna go straight away for the rapid spin uh actually no i just get a t-spike up i probably should have spun there that was probably a misplay but that allows me to pressure his altaria put it on a timer so it can't just dd on me um, but right here, I go out into my bronze on because I can click Toxic versus uh, this Hepaldon. Finally put this on the timer that I want it to be on because I lost both my ways to kill it. But now that I'm out with Diggers B, um, I have enough offensive pressure. Um, so I'm just going to click U-turn right here, kind of predicting the Whirlwind uh, so I can just go right out into bronze on as he ends up going for the EQ. Um, so I get to look like I predicted that even though I didn't. <laughs> and so now he's being just worn down i can click eq as he goes for the whirlwind um he was probably predicting diggers be right there and wanted to just stop me from doing that which you know is fine um because i can just knock him out with the frustration and at this point um as long as he's not scarf star after i've got it in the bag but i'm pretty sure he's banded so i'm just gonna click frustration again and uh, knock him out as his last mon is altaria but it can't do anything to me, which is pretty nice. So I can just go ahead and switch out into my Bronzong. Knowing that if he DDs, I will be able to knock him out with the Dragon. Not with the Dragon Blast, the Gyro Ball, that one. Um, so he's going to go right here for another DD, just kind of conceding defeat. As I actually haven't revealed Gyro Ball yet, but I do right there. And I'm knocking him out. So that's a very good game. Um, even though it looked really one-sided, it actually wasn't that one-sided. He was just... A DD or two away from just absolutely destroying my life. But anyway, um, hope you guys did enjoy this sh uh, shorter showdown replay. Sorry there wasn't a live today. Um, just don't want to lose my points. You guys know how. I hope you know how I feel. Anyway, uh, also tell me if you want to see more replays in the future. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.